Good afternoon. My name is Jay Bano. You want a Jamin show? My guest today is is Yvette Freeman, a wonderful actress and a wonderful producer. Hi, Yvette. Hi. Welcome, well, welcome to the show today. Thank you for coming on the show. I, I appreciate you. Well, I'm glad to be here. Okay, great. Okay, um, so I guess my first question is to you is, um, what made you want to become an actress? Um, I just felt like being an actress. It came to me when I was uh, in, in high school. I saw a play with Frederick Smith, and it was um, uh, Paint Your Wagon. It was a musical, and I just, something in me went, boing! <laughs> and um, from then on, I wanted to be an actress on stage and sing. And my father was was a musician and played the piano, and um, he didn't think I had the talent. But, you know, they let me go and let me do what I wanted to do, you know? Okay, that's one. I, I had to prove it to him, so... I see. I hear you. Um, so how did you get your first your, your first movie, your, your first television show? Oh, well, that was after I did uh, New York, Broadway, Paris, Rome. <laughs> I had already had a career going. I already had um, an agent out here and uh, out in L.A. That's where I am. And um, she was the one that got me my first job. I mean, I got a pilot with Ann Gillian. I mean, it was her TV show, and they added me to it, and it didn't last. <laughs> and um, but it was my agent, Honey Saunders. Okay. Wow. So. Then, but she's not my agent now. Oh, she's okay. I see. Okay. She's passed. Okay. And she's a beautiful woman. Beautiful. Uh, okay, my canosa still again. Thank you. Um, so um, so what parts are you work are you currently working on right now? Um, I've been doing some dubbing. Um, for Netflix, it's a new, uh, it's a documentary, it's called My Love, and I speak uh, in the uh, Brazilian part of the show, and um, I did a movie in Amazing, um, Amazing Stories for, ooh, what TV, Apple, oh. and um, there was another movie I did, um, it's all out, it's all streaming now, and I'm sad that it didn't have a, a premiere, because it was really good. Um, I can't even think of the name of it. <laughs> and I, I play, of course, the grandmother now. Oh, that's, that's wonderful. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing that, you know. Oh, oh and I also write. So that's what keeps me going a lot. Okay. Um, what, 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 what do you like to write about? Um, I have a vampire script, <laughs> uh, a ghost story. Um, I'm in this uh, program called um, Organiz Organization for uh, Black Screenwriters, OBS. Mm -hmm. um, and it's really great. It's so great. Um, we um, help each other. There's like over 300 screenwriters from across the country in this organization, and um, they um, they're all always open for writers. You gotta you know show your work before you get in. And um, then we're in groups, and I'm in the Get Out group, which does uh, the horror films and um, you know some sci-fi. That's the group, and. Um, we help each other. Like we had a meeting last week in which everybody was across the country. A couple of people from Texas who were, you know, barely got their lights turned back on after um, the yeah. uh, electricity went out and the snow and all that. It was horrible for them. But um, they, you know, you talk about your script and everybody puts in and helps you um, write your best script. Okay. Yeah, they're all, it's very good. It's very supportive. Yeah, that's, that's good. We all need that, especially now. Um, so what's it like, what's, what's it like to be famous, I mean, in your opinion? Cause... I don't know. Oh. I'm not famous. Uh, I'm, I'm a working actress, and uh, an older working actress who does not look like the woman who did uh, ER, um, Halle, the nurse Halle in ER all those years. Mm -hmm. I look different. I have gray hair. Mm -hmm. I've got long gray uh, sister locks. And um, I've lost a lot of weight from that woman. And, um, but when, it, when back when, it was exciting mm -hmm. when people would recognize me on the street. It was great. I, you know, because you felt like you did something, yeah. you know. And I'm not, right now, I'm just, um, I'm an actress who works once in a while. I mean, not often because of the age. Um, and um, not that I don't have auditions that have an agent that is really supportive too. Um, so you do other things, mm -hmm. you know, you paint, if you could see oh, one of my paintings. Yeah. My painting will be sort of painting. Uh, 
See that one up there? Can you see it? Oh, I can't see it. Okay, you can't see it. Anyway, there it is. There it is. There's my painting. Yeah, I love painting. Um, um, I got more over there. So you do, you do your life. Mm-hmm. And with COVID, we're all doing our lives. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We yeah. are all, you know, and it's the best. Oh, and I cook. Okay. Woo! I cook like crazy. Oh, well, what, 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 what people I like to cook? I love, I love, I love. <laughs> I know you do. Um, I, you know, last night I grilled a, a steak perfectly uh-huh. for my husband. Perfect. Before I would burn them. Uh-huh. And, um, you know, biscuits and I do bread. Everybody got into bread last year. I'm just getting into bread, making uh, sourdough bread and all that from the begin, from the, you know, s- scratch from the beginning and piece by piece and just learning how to cook, you know, through all the videos on online. It's absolutely wonderful. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, lo- I love, I love, I love to try your food, you know, you know? Yeah. I would love to try something. Okay. I can tell us, I can tell us delicious. Um, so how is the pandemic, so how is um, the pandemic, pandemic affecting your career? Um, it's been interesting. Um, it's been, you know, you, you do things online Mm -hmm. and, um, I haven't been on a set this year. I've got, have auditions that I set up in my house. Uh, you know, the, the phone, one of those fancy phones, iPhones and, um, do my auditions with my husband Mm. who, who sets the, is the cameraman and I'm the, uh, and he's also says the other lines. Um, so it's, difficult because I don't really I don't like that because no one tells you which direction to go and I as an actress can go any which way I can if you direct me I can do it but if you leave it up to me my interpretation is certainly not yours (laughs) so um so it makes it a little hard but um voiceover work is great Yeah. yeah that's great I'm I'm enjoying that so oh. that's all in my closet. Okay. Okay. I have set up in my closet with a mic and a, some kind of thing that hooks to my computer, and I can see the company. Uh, I mean, see the people, the the um, the person that does the sound and the director. Where you know, it's like the Zoom meeting, but it's not Zoom. It's something else. I don't know. It's it's on that that company's thing, but mm-hmm. I'm set up to do it in my closet because it's quiet. Mm-hmm. It's the quietest place in my house. I hear you. Absolutely. Um... Wow. So um, what, 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 so what inspires you? What gives you inspiration to do what you do? Um, well, I pray. Okay. Um, and I just look mm-hmm. and listen. And I do, um, we do a lot of audio books, um, which is wonderful. My husband and I sit together and um, do audio books. And then I work on an art project at the same time. And um, I have animals and I walk Mm-hmm. And then I see my neighborhood and the stories come and just talking to people makes it happen six feet apart, of course. Mm-hmm. And uh, which I wish, I wish I hope it, that ends soon. Yeah. So what, yeah. Was, so what was it like to work on ER? Cause I, I love that show, you know, working with George Clooney. What was that like? You know? It was exciting, yeah. fun, scary, oh. um, George Clooney was, to this day, I have nothing bad to say about that man. He was the most wonderful man, and he still is. And um, he just, he was good looking too. He's one of those kind of men that's hard to look at because he's so good looking. You go, mm. <laughs> And, uh, you know, Eric was wonderful. Eric LaSalle and Tony and Gloria Rubin. And in fact, we're going to have a, a reunion. They're getting ready to do an ER reunion for... Um, um, some kind of program. I'm not sure. I just got an email on it today and um, they invited me to be a part of it. So I'm like, yeah, I would like to see all these people. Yeah. I haven't seen them in a long time. Yeah, because George Clooney, George Clooney is after him boss right now from, from a, movie, a movie right now. So, yeah, so is he? Yeah, He's yeah. a wonderful man. Uh, yeah, I hope to see him. I'm, I'm going to try and just, just put, a, put a final movie, you know, so I hope to see him. Okay. Yeah. So, um, so how did so how'd, how'd you get the, get the pop, pop, pop on, on here? How did you get the audition? I mean, the my yeah. agent, my agent, Honey Saunders, who was my my main agent years ago, and um, she just got me in. And at the last call, there were uh, four of us: um, mm-hmm. white, Spanish, black, and another white girl. And so I was I represented the black people for mm-hmm. my part. And I went in, um, and I read, 
And I was, first I had a Pinto, okay? Because I just moved out from uh, New York to here and who, I don't know nothing about cars. You don't have to have a car in New York City. And, um, but it was great, but it bl would blow up kind of. Um, <laughs> so I, my car is smoking in the driveway and I have this audition and, mm -hmm. and so I'm like nervous. I'm upset because I don't know how I'm going to get home to the beach. I live in Venice and uh, that's in the beach area from, uh, in the Valley, which is a long way. And he, so the, the casting director was pushing me to put, go to the next scene. And I said, I'm not ready. Get hold second. And then I turned the page and went back to it with much attitude. Wow. And I got the part before I got home. Oh, wow, that's great. And called my agent because I gave them the attitude that they wanted mm -hmm. as my, my character, Halle. I just gave them myself. And that's what you do, basically, is when you're doing TV, it's usually close to you. Mm -hmm. So that because it's happening so fast. Mm -hmm. You gotta just, you know, you don't have to find a character. You find that character within. So what? So, so what advice can you give artists? I'm, I'm actors that want to be, you know, do what you do. What advice can you give us that want to be an actor or a singer? Well, I have a um, I have a side gig that can bring you in the money because it may not happen or it may take a long time happen. Mm -hmm. But if you stay at the table, as they say, you will be served. And it, and you've got to have the passion. You've mm -hmm. got to want to do this, this kind of work, you know, because it's not easy. It's, <laughs> it's hard, you know, to, to live your life and to, to feel like you're um, advancing mm -hmm. and like um, it still hurts when you don't get a job to me. It still gives me a little, uh, uh, but I get over it really fast now. But in the beginning, it was like they were, were um, Xing me out. Not the, you know, not that I didn't fit the role. And there's so many reasons why you don't fit the role. It could be you're too short, you're too fat, you're not strong enough. You, uh, you know, they have all kinds of reasons when they want a certain thing for a role and you can't fit it. Or somebody else may have the role already who's a, a family member or a friend or whatever who, or who deserved the role. And um, so you just got to keep fighting and keep working and staying at the table. That's that's some that's some good advice. Yeah. Um. So um. I guess my next question is um. Is where do you see yourself that where do you see yourself that down the line years from now? So, still acting, still acting, singing. Um. I don't know. It's, I'm not going to be fighting for for work anymore because I'm older and I don't really. I don't have the passion that I used to have to drive. Now I'm just like, okay, a role, okay, all right, fine. Um, but I do so many other things. I have my master's, I got my master's online from Southern New Hampshire University in creative writing. And um, so I write short stories, I write screenplays, and that's, I enjoy that. I paint, I have two, three dogs, one here, Amina, Amina. Oh no, she's licking the couch right now. Um, <laughs> I let them on the couch. Yes, I'm bad. And I have uh, and two cats and a wonderful husband. So I keep busy. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah. I yeah. have a life. I have a life. That's the whole thing is for an actor, have your life. Don't be waiting for the major part to have a life. Have your life. Live it. Okay. Live it. Okay. Do all kinds of things. I, absolutely. I couldn't say better myself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. Excuse me, I'm going to have a little water. Can I have water? Oh, I can't show the water. I can't. There you go. Okay. okay, that did my dog. She, she went. <laughs> she wants some, a goodie. That's the signal. Mm -hmm. Yes. So have you, have, you won, have you won any awards, like any Oscars awards? I've won Screen Actors Guild Awards. I have about mm, eight. Okay. Um, and then I have the um, uh, uh, NAACP award. I've got an Obie for my musical Dinah Was in New York City. That's um, the, the award um, that's under, it's for Off-Broadway. And um, People's Choice, a um, whole bunch. They're all in a box somewhere. Okay. Oh, wow, that's wonderful. But a lot came from ER, and then others came from me doing other shows. Wow. I did... Um, uh, what's that women in prison show? Um, is 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 the black? 
Yes, I did that one. Yeah. And, and with the group, we got the ensemble um, Screen Actors Guild. Oh, yeah. I think I'm on the scene now. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I was in there for a while, but it was go, going back and forth to New York. And I'm like, mm, I left New York to be on television, come to L.A. So I was not, it was just like too much mm -hmm. going back there and yeah. you know, leaving my house and my home, which is quite nice. I see. I hear you. So what was it like working on the set of All in the Black? What was that set like? In the, in the well, I was basically a, a guest star visitor because right. I would come in, do my part, and leave. I stayed in a, a hotel. And um, so it wasn't like I was a part of the group. Yeah. You know, because, and that's one of the problems with being a guest star on a show. You're not a part of the family. You're just visiting. So you better have your lines down and everything together because they don't have no time for you. <laughs> and the director can direct you because uh, you're not one of the stars, yeah. and they're not. And the director is usually passing through too. I see. Oh, um, yeah. Oh, did you did you meet any of the cast members there on on, on the set? The cast members are, are like um. Orange and Black. Yeah, I mean, I played with them, and um, you know, did my scene with them, but um, and so we didn't become friends. Okay. Now, ER is a whole different story. I be, I was a part of the family. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I was a so that's whole totally different. You know, we I'm still friends with them. Okay. Okay. Um, if, with a whole bunch of them, mm -hmm. and um, we had um one one more pass. D's or D passed a couple two weeks ago. We had a, I mm -hmm. believe, a heart attack, and um, that um, like he's so young. He was so young. And he, DZD was the black guy on ER. The the um, uh, he wasn't a nurse. He was uh, what do you call it? But he was there all the time. He had he was there. He was part of the family. Okay, that's that's good to know. Michael Nolan says that's good to know. Um, so what what do you like? So what what do you like to do for fun in, in your spare time? You know, what do you enjoy doing the most? Um, I I like going to the beach. Um, I like um. You know, listening to music, we do uh, jazz. My husband is a jazz piano player. Mm -hmm. And um, I like seeing live shows. Oh, gosh, I love, I miss that so much with this pandemic. You can't see shows. I mean, we would, my husband and I would go into New York and and see shows. You know, spend a week or so, and every day you see some a show mm -hmm. on Broadway or off Broadway. And then come back home. You know, and then here, we go to, um, to the Amundsen, mm -hmm. and we were, you know, uh, what do you call it? We had subscription to the Amazon and, and I would, because I made sure we would see the plays. If, if you buy in, you go there because, you know, it costs too much money not to see that show. Um, and it was great. Uh, but now I miss that. Oh, my animal was barking. Sorry. Somebody must have walked past um, and um, miss that now. I hope that they open it up soon. Yeah. And have shows. Yeah, that'd be nice to see you know. Once this pandemic ends, you know, I, I agree, huh? Um, yeah. Hmm. Uh, do you still enjoy singing? Do, do you still do you still sing? Um, yeah, we did a pandemic, we did a show for Juneteenth for a corporation, mm -hmm. um, in which we put together for them. And it and it was all I don't know how many people with, from this corporation saw it, but we gave them uh, music and we gave them history of Juneteenth, mm -hmm. you know, and um my dog is can you hear my dog? Yeah, I can. I have Yeah, I have a dog too. So yeah. So oh, okay. And um, so we did this show on like Zoom almost. It was a kind of Zoom thing. Um, they said they had the the platform, and um, that was the last time I really sang. And um, so that's Juneteenth. That's June nineteenth. So, <laughs> and uh, twenty twenty. But um, we'll probably we have this thing called Vespers at my church in which we bring the jazz musicians from all, all around uh, California um, one night, one Sunday um, um, a month. And it's fabulous. I go to Northridge um, uh, United Methodist Church and it, um, it's great that they open it up for um, music and people come out, but you know, as soon as the pandemic's over, we'll maybe get back to it. Yeah, I definitely said that would be nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah um... So, so how do you feel about everything? So, how do you feel about um the George Floyd incident? I've been mean, it happened, you know, racism. I mean, how's that affect you? The George Floyd incident, you know. The what? 
How do you feel about the George? The, the, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm the George Floyd incident. How did that affect you? Oh, oh, think? that's hideous, and um, it's hideous for him. Um, and I know that he was born for that. Mm-hmm. You know, he was born for that. I'm, I'm sorry to say, but he's opened up. He's so open up this world to how it's so racist, and they don't even know it. They don't even know that they're doing things to hold back minorities. And um, I'm sorry that he died, but he has put a fire and he made people look at their lives. Just like the, uh, what's that, princess, the black princess and the um, Harry and his wife. They, just doing what they're doing, opens up the world and um, to look at racism, to see if they can stop it. It's, It's just... Sad but wonderful at the same time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I didn't. I, I didn't. I guess I think about that. Yeah. Um, so what do you think? What do you think we can do? To, we can do to the chance what to make the world better, in your opinion. Um, do things like this. Talk. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, be open to be a part of anything that will help the world be a better. Mm-hmm. To write something for me, I I want to write something that affects somebody not just my ghost stories and my uh vampire stories but stories with heart Mm -hmm. and um that's i i think that's how i'm going to be speaking because you know the roles that i get you have a question there about picking roles i don't pick my roles i'm not on that level Mm -hmm. i am a, a supporting actress and um I, you know, I, whatever my agents come in front of me, put in front of me, I, I look at them and I go, okay, I'll, you know, I'll audition. I have to audition. And um, if I get the job, I get the job. But I mean, there's some things I turned down. There was one show that had a, a, a title of uh, the devil. And I said, I'm not working on a show for, you know, the title of the devil. Forget it. So I, I got my things that I stopped. You know, say no. I'm not even going to audition because mm-hmm. I don't even have the title. <laughs> hey, 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 hey! Oh, Missy, I'm so sorry. <laughs> They're all here. They're like listening. They think I'm talking to them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not even my dog. That's somebody else's dog. Oh, it is. Yeah. Hmm. This is my. I guess I have new, new neighbors. Oh, really? <laughs> Or something, or they got a dog. They got a dog. Everybody's getting a dog. You know that, right? Yeah. Everybody, because they because they're great companions. And that's true. They are. They they, be, they can be a man's best friend. Yeah. Yeah, they are. They are. Mine, mine are wonderful. They usually don't bark. Yeah. But <laughs> but there is a dog over there barking. I'm so sorry. Okay, you know, that's okay. Uh, usually quiet here. Yeah. So I guess my next question is: Where do you where do you a let let to travel to for, for vacation? Oh, uh, I I hate to say this. I have a timeshare, <laughs> and um, we uh, go. It's Hilton timeshares, and you can go anywhere with this this timeshare. And you just plan it. You know, go to New York City, and can you can you get? Is there another dog out there? No, the gardener's here. The gardener's here. Ah, okay. I'm so sorry. Let me. I'm gonna take you into. Uh, oh. Uh, oh no, I can't do it in the front room because they're going to be all over the place. That's what's going on. My garden is here. In LA, everybody has a garden. Don't think it's hooty joity. Everybody has one. Mm-hmm. You know, everybody makes sure their yard is clean. In the, in the hood, you could never tell it's the hood because it looks so nice. Mm-hmm. I didn't know. When I came out of here, I said, look at these beautiful houses. Oh, that's, you know, with the lawns all mowed and everything else. Everybody does it. And I, I didn't even know what section of town I was in. You know, mm-hmm. even, you know, Beverly Hills, of course, they do it, but everybody. Yeah, if you have to own a home, their people take care of it. Mm-hmm. Absolutely, yeah. So what's about what's life in California? Is that, is it, is that... I love it. Mm-hmm. The temperature, I have a garden out back. I mean, I got some collard greens growing, and I got, I get, I'm just getting ready to start my tomatoes, and um, I just have beans, and I got corn this year. I'm going to start corn. And um, so you can do that and you can walk your dogs because it's sunny and it's beautiful and um, flowers and the ocean is like uh, 20 minutes away. And um, 
It's just beautiful. I love California. I love LA. And I'm not in LA. I'm not in the city proper. I used to be, you know, but we moved out and um, it's nice. It's yeah. nice. Yeah, absolutely. You know, you know, because I'm, I'm a Boston. It's really cool right now. So I'd rather be with you now. Oh, I love Boston too. Now, I, you know, I had a good time in Boston. I did uh, it's the Huntington. I did Mal Rainey there. And uh, I stayed, uh, it was, uh, I, I brought my dog, one of my dogs, and to keep me company. Because you, when you do a show at a theater, it takes at least three months. For one month of rehearsal, and they usually run you for about eight weeks after that. And um, I just had a ball. I just loved it. Yeah, it's nice and yeah, it's nice sometimes. Ah. It's, really, it's really not my thing, you know. So you know. <laughs> yeah. So when were you last in Boston? Huh? So when, were you, when, when were you last? Ah. Oh, stop it, Lenny! Get get these dogs. <laughs> the, I mean, tell the guard. Guard. Oh, that's so sad. Yeah. Okay, they're going. Ah. I, I got to move. I got to move out of here because they're going to act crazy. Because okay. they, they bark at the gardener who's been coming here for 10 years and they still bark at him. And uh, he's, uh, it's just it's something that they do. Hold on, I'm going to keep you and I'll keep talking while. There we go. Oh, that's, that's, that's beautiful. Is, is that your work, work room where you paint? Yeah, I paint. Oh, wow. Yeah, I see. You're such a, are, you going to sell, are you going to sell some of your paintings online? No, I'm just painting for me. I'm not thinking about selling anything. Okay, I, I hear you. I, I, yeah. Okay. So, so I was asking, uh, when were you last in, uh, when, uh, when were you last, uh, last in Boston? Uh, four years ago, five years ago. Yeah, I, I do shows, and then I forget that I did them. I mean, I just do them, enjoy them, and I f move on, because that's one of the things of being an, an actress. If you, I did mostly touring. I mean, I did Broadway. But I did tour of Ain't Misbehaving for, gosh, I don't know how many years, at least 10 years. I mean, and I also directed it and um, for uh, North Coast Rep down here. I directed it for that and I directed it for another theater. I forget the theater. And, um, you know, you travel and you, you let things go. You don't hold on to, you know, friends because everybody moves on. So you've got to be able to, for, for an actor, you've got to keep, you, you collect some friends, but you don't collect everybody. Mm -hmm. You know, like my friend in New York, Jackie, you know, right. she's from the Ain't Misbehaving Times. And then I have George, he's from the, he's here. And um, uh, Ken and um, Amelia passed. Gosh, people are passing. Um, she was here too. She moved from New York to here. And um, so you keep some, but you don't keep all. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's too many people. Yeah, that's true, you know. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. oh, wow. <laughs> oh, so, so if you if you if you if you come to Boston, I'll, I'll be I'll be, I'll love to meet you if you come to come to Boston. Oh, I certainly yes, I would love to meet you. It'd be honored, a blessing to meet you. Come my house to me. Come okay. to my house for the 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 dish. But so some me, me, uh, you can meet me, 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 my, my own family. You know? Okay. All right. Good. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, because it's a blessing. I can just, just meet you and talk to you in person. I don't know about your family, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So what can we, so what can we do? So what can we do to, to do to support you? How can we support you? Um, I haven't got a clue. I mean, if you have a radio station, you can play my uh, record. Okay. My okay. new one. Okay. Okay. Well, what's the name of that record? I'll make sure. To, I'll make sure. In my arms. Mm -hmm. I'm. I'm gonna uh, put it on. Uh, I had it on another uh, group. It was playing. A, I've had. This is a couple of years old, but it still sounds so great. Mm -hmm. And um, sometimes I don't push it. You know, I just. You know, so if you hear it, mm -hmm. get it. Okay. Or download. No, it's downloaded. Okay. You know, and. Um, I might be back to Boston to do a play in that area. You got great theaters. You have great theaters. We do, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like I said, I'd be kind of Boston. I'd love, love to meet you. So I'd be honored to meet you, you know. And okay. I'd love to have you hear some of my work too, you know, if possible. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Good. Uh huh. I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll try and send it to you tonight because it's, 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 if that's okay with you. 
Yeah, sure. Thank you. All right. This is well. This is this is a wonderful opportunity to meet you and and to learn more about you, your story. You know what I mean, and what you've done. You know, because I think they definitely have been a blessing to me. You know, to come meet me and so on. Well, same here. So, I'm know, glad. So. I'm glad I did this. Thank you so much. I'm so glad I got to meet you, and I was sending our send it our edit to be now sent to tonight. You know, and all of my all of my music. That's okay. You know, still get to watch it tonight. You know, they can even see it. Okay. Okay. So, all right. Thank you, God bless you. I'll see you soon. I hope to see you soon. Take care. Bye. Bye-bye. Okay. I don't know how do I do that. Oh.